We can also use our long tone meditation to de-emotionalize some of the problem notes on the oboe. Let's do some long tones around those problem notes. For example, half whole C sharp. We hate this note because it's so stuffy and shallow and resistant, right? It feels like the oboe is just too short to accommodate this note. As you settle into your long tone on this note, can you lengthen the vibrating tube of the oboe? Lengthen your mouth inside your mouth, move to the tip of the reed, and blow to a point two inches below the bell of your oboe. Feels pretty good, right? Let's try that again. And now let's slur to it from a half whole D. Let's explore middle C, just regular one and one C. This note has the opposite problem of the C sharp. It's just too short to sound good. You only have about five inches of oboe vibrating on this note, and it just doesn't feel like enough to keep you safe. The solution here is oddly similar to the C sharp above it. How much can you lengthen that tube? Make your throat long and your mouth long, like ooh, and pretend that that C vent is farther away than it is. Sometimes we fear this note so much that we underblow it in context. What would happen if you just played the C? and let it sound like it sounds. It's not the prettiest note on the oboe, but your fear can make it even less attractive than it already is. Could you play back and forth between D and C and find an amount of air and a way of blowing that will let these two notes sound equally full? Sure, the C might be a little bright, but that sound on that note is characteristic of the oboe. Can you allow it to be okay for the oboe to sound like an oboe? Low G is another struggle note. Sometimes people forget that it's a low note. It doesn't look low on the staff, and it doesn't feel low under your fingers, but it speaks from the lower joint, and it needs to be cared for like a low note. As such, even though it wants to be flat, it will not stand up to biting. If you try to close the reed down to bring that G up to pitch, it will crumple and die. Instead of biting it up to pitch, can you brighten it up to pitch? Without compressing the reed, can you change the direction of your air to blow through the front of the oboe instead of down the oboe? That quality of C that we all hate, can you channel that a little bit for the low G and just allow it to blat the tiniest bit? From five feet away, no one will hear that quality. I promise. They will just hear the G working and speaking and aligned, just like all the rest of the notes on the oboe. Let's try one more long tone. This time, move gently between low G, middle C, and C sharp and just notice how differently those different notes resist you, and work out how you're going to use your mouth to neutralize those resistances, so that as an audience member, I can't tell what's happening. 
think about making those notes all sound like each other, as though they all came from the same instrument. That is beautiful. Go on forth and be beautiful. <laughs> 